one of the one of the challenges we have always had is that yes, we're the second largest motion picture industry in the world. We're, we're next to Bollywood. However, quality-wise, we really are quite low in the food chain. Um, and with, with proper training, we, we can close that gap and see. not only be number two, as far as I'm concerned, we can easily become number one in both respects, in quantity and especially in quality. There are smaller industries than ourselves who produce such good quality work and the, with the little work that they're producing, they earn, their industry earns much more than we are earning. So with, in, in, with the improvement in our quality, I think there will also be um, definitely um, uh, better earnings for everybody. I do believe that there are a, um, a couple who are of international standard and can, and can work with the best anywhere in the world. But again, there are not enough of us who are like that. And so we all, you know, um, one of the advantages that other um, longer established industries have over us is that they continuously train. Somehow we don't. We and it's it's something. It's a culture that we have got to take on board. If all other industries go for continuous training, because there are just so many new innovations, especially in our industry, there's so many new innovations. So many, you know, that. It's, it's very important, if you're a technical person, to go for continuous training. Now, if you're a performer, it's also important to go for continuous training because you can never know everything. And you're always, you know, being challenged with the characters that you play. So it's, it's you know, just to give yourself a fresh perspective on how to approach a character, I think it's important that um, that we continue to train and also as the body as we grow older there are changes in our body how do we how do we adjust as performers to those changes so that our skills are still well honed uh, for us because we can work for much longer, there's really no retirement age for anybody in this industry. For the performer, once you, you go past the age of about 55, 60 on the average, your memory is not that good anymore. And so if you if you become if you're a, if you perform for the theater, you actually need to work on your script on your script for much longer. You know, if normally you work on a script for about um, four weeks. From this age, you need to start working on a script for about six to eight weeks, just so that you you know you retain the lines. Um, you know, little things like that.